Welcome back. Things you didn't know about Pastor Ezekiel. Pastor Ezekiel alikuwa tasa. Hakuwa na, we, na uwezo wa kuzalisha mwanamke yeyote yule. Alipooa bibi yake, uh, Pastor Sala, Pastor uh, Ezekiel na leti ya kwa kuwa, hangeweza kumpe mimba bibi yake ama kumpachika mimba na ilibidi aende kanisani na akaombewa na pasta Pius Mwiro na akarejeshewa nyota yake ya kuzalisha aleta Mungu akamsaidia afta kupokea nyota ya kuzalisha na wakapewa watoto dhulu pasta Mwiro Pasta Ezekiel Stine Leeds na sema kwa na kuwa before awe ama akuje kuwa muhubiri alikuwa fisherman ama alikuwa anavua samaki before he came and became the biggest preacher of before akuje nawe muhubiri yule mkubwa sana hapa nchini Kenya pastor Ezekiel alikuwa anatega samaki alileta Mungu akamsaidia akakuja na akaanza kutega watu he became fisher men he started preaching na akaanza kutega watu ama kutega watu wakuje wa mwabudu mwenyezi Mungu leo ili kitu na ambayo ilishtua wengi na ni kitu ambayo watu hawakuwa wanajua about pastor Ezekiel ni kwamba nakuwa pastor Ezekiel has 15 bank accounts na hizo zote wakati ilishikwa zilikuwa frozen. Kwa hizi 15 bank accounts bado haijabainika kana kwamba kila account iko na bank yake ama kuna bank ako na account kadhaa. Na kama kila bank iko na account yake, hapa Kenya zile bank na ambazo zinajulikana they are less than 10 zile kubwa zinajulikana. That means kuna uwezekano pastor Ezekiel huwa anawekeza pesa zake nje wa inchi nje ya inchi pastor Ezekiel alioa bibi na ambaye ali drop out akiwa standard 3 pastor Sala hata saa hii pastor Sala akihubiri hawezi tumia lugha ya Kiingereza and she cannot be able to, to communicate through English kwa ibada zake zote pastor Sala kutumia lugha ya Kiswahili. Na ni kwa nini? Ari drop out akiwa standard 3. Just imagine mtoto wa standard 3 aki drop out. Pale standard 3 hata kuandika ni shida. Kuangia Kiingereza hata ujui. Hapa ni penye tu unakuanga tu unajua tu lugha ya mama na Kiswahili kidogo. But remember at a time Kiswahili pia ilikuwa ngumu. So alikuwa tu anajua lugha ya mama. That's why even today she cannot be able to communicate in English. Pastor Ezekiel if you don't if you didn't know Pastor Ezekiel owns a very big house na ambayo huwa inaitwa White House na washirika yake because it's painted white it's worth millions and millions of money. Na hii kanisa yake ni kanisa ile kubwa sana hapa nchini Kenya. It has capacity of 45,000 people. Na pia kwa hilo kanisa ambayo inaoniwa na Pastor Ezekiel. Pastor Ezekiel aliweza kuweka shule international school so Pastor Ezekiel owns international school na anataka kutengeneza stadium moja kubwa pale na ako na mipango ya kununua ndege because anataka kuweka pale a vision so ni mtu na ambaye amejipanga sana. Hayo ni mambo tu na ambayo haujawahi jua about Pastor Ezekiel. Thank you guys. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. God bless Kenya.